Good morning. This is Debbie with Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to make a dish that I saw on TV yesterday. We have on our local channel a program that comes on at 12.30 every day called um, Daytime Blue Ridge. And it, they have um, recipes on there, someone cooking things. And usually it's to do with food line. Um, but this is from a, a leftover ham, like you can use your leftover ham that you had for Easter, which is what I've got, and that's what I'm going to use. And I've got about two and a half pounds of red potatoes that I have cut up. Well, I've cut the, the places off of them. Um, I'm, I'm picky about my potatoes, so I want them to be... <laughs> make sure there's no spots on them or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these in half and then I'll, I'm going to cube these potatoes and it calls, the recipe that they used on TV yesterday said frozen potatoes. Well, I don't want frozen potatoes because I have potatoes over here. And with diabetes... You're, one of the high carbs is potatoes, but potatoes don't seem to bother me, and it could be because <laughs> I'm on two medications for um, diabetes, so that could be one reason why it doesn't bother me, but my um, blood sugar has been running really good lately so I'm really impressed at that but what I'm doing is I'm just cubing up these red potatoes and the reason that I use red potatoes is because they do say that red potatoes are the kind that are better for you than like white potatoes or um, I think gold potatoes are okay too but red potatoes are supposed to be the best for you and so I'm just cubing all these up. And when I finish, I'm going to put them on my new wave induction cooktop. And I'm going to let them cook. I'm going to set the timer. Once it starts boiling, I'm going to set the timer and let these cook for 10 minutes. And while these are cooking, I'm going to be cutting up my ham into chunks. And... After that 10 minutes, I'll bring you back. But this is called um, a cheddar ham bake. And a friend of mine makes it, and she just calls it potato, I mean, ham potato bake. Um, but she doesn't put some of the things in it that this one calls for. But I'll bring you back after these are boiled for 10 minutes. Okay, I'm back. Now let the, let me see if I can get them in here so you can see them. I let the potatoes cook for 10 minutes. I, they boiled for 10 minutes. And I cut them off and drained them. And I did keep um, a half a cup of the water from the potatoes. And I put them in here. And then I have a can of cream of celery soup that I'm going to put in here. <clears throat> this is just great value cream of celery soup. And I I love this soup. I think it has such a good taste when it's cooked. Now, I've never eaten it by itself, but um, on pork chops, baking your pork chops and putting cream of celery soup in them or doing the same thing with hamburger steaks. Um, all right, so I've got one can and... I cut up, um, I diced up my ham. I know you can see that. And so I've got the one can of cream of celery soup. And then I'm going to use one cup. And I know I can't get it even, but I'm going to try. One cup of sour cream. It says one cup on there so I'm going to do that all right 
right. Let me see if I can get all of it out of here with this little... This good stuff. I can't even remember now what it's called. <clears throat> all right, now I'm going to mix all this up. And it's got a half a cup of the potato water in there. And it's got the one can of cream of celery, one cup of sour cream. And then it says one cup of mild cheddar cheese and one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. Well, I really don't like sharp cheddar cheese. <laughs> so I'm just using... Um, all mild, and I, I use a lot of mild cheddar cheese. All right, so we're going to mix this all together. All right, I'm going to go and get my potatoes and put them right here so you can see them. Move this out of the way. All right, so I'm going to mix this up a little bit more. And then I'm going to pour this all over the potatoes. And get this all mixed up. And I've got my, my oven's preheated to 375. And I've got my casserole dish over here. And stuff doesn't really stick to it, so I don't have to spray it. But if you've got a casserole dish that stuff does stick to, you need to spray your casserole dish. Mix all this up. And I need to mix this up pretty good. And then I'm going to put this in the casserole dish, and I'm going to cover it. And my cheese is already melting. I'm going to put some more cheese on top, and then I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and let this cook in the oven. I'm going to cut the oven down to 350, and I'm going to let this uh, bake in the oven for 45 minutes. Then I'm going to take the aluminum foil off and let it bake for another 30, I mean 15 minutes. So total cooking time is an hour. And that's because I, I want it <laughs> crunchy, a little bit crispy. And the recipe calls for um, just to do it 35 minutes covered and then 15 minutes uncovered. But I don't, I want it to be, I'm going to do it 45 minutes. Okay. This pan might be too big. Oh my gosh, this smells and looks so good. Mm. I just tasted one of the potatoes. They're definitely not done, but they will be done in the 45 minutes that I let them cook. And, and on the recipe, like I said, it says to use frozen potatoes and I guess you could use tater tots or whatever but the frozen potatoes that they had looked just like diced um, potatoes and I've never seen frozen diced potatoes maybe I should look but I mean I don't really I don't fix french fries or or anything like that and I definitely make my own Homemade um, 
mashed potatoes. Alright. So I'm going to put just a little bit more across the top of this. Spread it out. And like I said, I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil. Let it, um, I'll put some more. Let this bake for 35 to 45 minutes. Depending, I guess, on how much you have. This is right much, so I'm going to cook this for 45 and Plus, I didn't use frozen potatoes or whatever. I used my own. All right, so I'm gonna got my. I'm gonna. I've got my oven preheated to 375. I'm gonna cut it down to 350. Cover this with aluminum foil. Put it in the oven, and I'll be back in about 45 minutes. Okay, here's the casserole. <clears throat> After 45 minutes, I've got 15 more minutes to let it cook, and I'll bring it out when it's done. Okay, I'm back. Here's the casserole. It, <laughs> I turned the oven up to 400 to brown it, and it still wouldn't brown. I don't know whether it's because of the that's great value cheese and not like something like Kraft or one of those cheeses, but it just wouldn't get brown except around the edges. And um, I just wanted to show you. And I've made some on a plate. And I'm going to put this back on the tripod. And I'll bring you right back when I taste it. Okay, I'm back. I put some of my coarse um, ground black pepper on it. It's really, really hot. I'm try I've been trying to let it cool off so I can taste it. I'm excited about this because it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is one of those dishes <laughs> that is really, really good. And I used cream of celery soup, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't put, I uh, use cream of mushroom or cream of chicken. Um, and also, I think you could put onions and or green peppers in it. Um, I think also you could put broccoli in it and have like a um, ham, potato, broccoli casserole. Like frozen broccoli when you cook it. I think that would be really good. I'm telling you, this is awesome. Mm. If there's anything that's going to make my blood sugar go up, <laughs> this probably will. At the end of this video, well, probably in the middle of this video, I'm going to put some pictures of my grandchildren at Easter on there and then I'm going to put um, a picture of my daughter's puppy her dog sugar had puppies and um, it's a long story but they all died last Friday morning she had seven and they all died last Friday morning but two and the one that's left is I mean one of the ones that's left she's naming it Pepper 
but I think it should be Yoda from Star Wars. Star Wars, wait till you see this picture. Oh my gosh, it's exactly like it. I mean, it looks exactly like Yoda from Star Wars to me. It's the prettiest puppy. All right, let me take another bite. Mm. This is good. And another thing, <laughs> this is kind of like a um, baked potato. You know, a loaded baked potato. I think you'll put bacon in here, and it would be really good. Even with the ham. I think it's really, really good. All right, if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to, to join my group on Facebook, um, just do a search on Facebook for food prepping, all one word, F-O-O-D-P-R-E-P-P-I-N-G, and that should bring you up to it and like my Facebook page. If you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and look over all my videos. I'm going to be doing a lot of different things, hopefully this coming up spring and this summer because I've got the time and I want to try doing new things and going to get back to the diabetic dishes. So I hope you stay along with me. And you have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.